Okay, so James Cunliffe asked me this question, and I thought it was an awesome question, actually, because it's something I'm always trying to do. And that is, join two bits of different metal together. Now, that's a bit of copper joined to a bit of aluminium, and the best I've been able to come up with is a tight fit and a whack on a load of resin. And it's a pain in the neck, it takes ages to do, and the bond isn't really that great. So I'm always trying to join two non-ferrous metals together. Now, we bought some of this stuff, which is that aluminium welding rod. I mean, it's really a brazing rod, okay? And I did something with a Tesla turbine to join two bits of alley together, which is what that's supposed to be about. And James said, uh, hey, Rob, will it join two different non-ferrous metals? And I thought, okay, that's really cool. So I rushed down here and I tried it. And there's the result. I mean, I'm going to do it again in a minute. It joins copper and aluminium and, and that, <laughs> that is a bond, eh? That is absolutely awesome. So what a find. This thing will actually do that job. Now, it wasn't too difficult. All I really did was clean the copper like you're supposed to before you solder it anyway. Bit of wire wool. Now, with this stuff, they recommend stainless steel to clean the alley surface. So I did what was recommended. I've used um, glass paper, actually, aluminium oxide paper, and I've found that to work just as well. So give it a good old clean, and then stick one on top of the other and put a weight on it. Okay, we're ready. There's my ordinary butane propane torch, and I'm gonna get a go on that, and I'm gonna give you a close-up of it. Okay, so there's my joint. Get my torch on it and get that up to temperature. It takes about a minute or so. Oh, incidentally, you might see this bit of pipe drop off when the epoxy gives up. That's it. Now, isn't that amazing? I'm also getting quite good at this, incidentally. That's quite a neat joint. Now, oh, there goes the resin. Now, I'm forever trying to join two bits of different metal together, so it's a real problem for me, and that's such a trick. So thank you, James. I had to come down and try it based on his question, and that is really astounding. I mean, that opens up so many possibilities. It really does. Anyway, I was so excited by it, I had to share it with you. The video was in real time, incidentally. It's not speeded up. That's how long it took to do it, which is no time at all. Faster than solder, and it's, <laughs> it's joined aluminium. I mean, you know, who wants to mess around with oil when it's that easy? But anyway, thought I'd share it with you. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching.